To enter this month's gift card giveaway, all you have to do is drop a like on the video, comment something down below, and also stay subscribed to the channel. Good luck, guys, and enjoy the video. Yo, how's it going, YouTube? My name is Richard right away. Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I got for you guys is, of course, another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. Now, today, what I'm going to be talking about is sort of an interesting topic on the channel. I've never really covered this, but I really wanted to talk about sort of like, I, I guess, Easter eggs for DLC weapons or just the, the general topic of DLC weapons. Basically, top five DLC weapons we thought were going to come into Black Ops 3 at some point during the year. Because as you guys know, Black Ops 3 came out last year. It was last year's Call of Duty. This year, we have Infinite Warfare and Modern warfare remastered and i have to say black ops 3 still has so much hype around it like there's literally so many people playing black ops 3 over infinite warfare and modern warfare remastered it's absolutely insane like i know black ops 2 like when ghost was out people went back to black ops 2 and it's sort of like the same thing like infinite warfare is like the newest call of duty out but people are still playing black ops 3 and it's absolutely crazy i'm still making videos on black ops 3 you guys still enjoy you know my black ops 3 content it's honestly really crazy how bo3 is still like the the greatest call of duty right now like still people are enjoying to play it to this day and i'm having so much fun making videos on it but like i said today we are actually going to talk about the top five dlc weapons we thought were coming into black ops 3 at some point during the year now like i said you know these weapons still can come into the game the odds are very slim because i just don't think we will ever see these weapons in black ops 3 but i do have like gameplay of like a lot of these weapons and i do have some like cool backstories and just cool easter eggs for these top five weapons and like literally a lot of people thought we were going to see these weapons as dlc weapons through Throughout the whole entire year of Black Ops 3, and they just never really came into the game. So, hopefully, you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys do, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. As you guys know, I'm on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I believe we're like 8,000 off. So, make sure to click that subscribe button if you're brand new. And uh, yeah, with that being said, man, let's jump right into it. So, the first weapon we have here is the M27. Now, the M27 was literally such a popular sort of Easter egg DLC weapon in the game. We've seen this weapon come up so so many times we've seen it in the files we've seen actual gameplay of the m27 there was an actual way to get the m27 on console like uh, if you're on ps4 xbox one there was a way to use the m27 in multiplayer by using sort of like this menu glitch or whatever and i made a video on that like when it was like first new and i'll show the gameplay in the background as well but there was just so many instances where we've seen the m27 pop up and we were like you know what this is going to be an this is going to be a dlc weapon coming to black ops 3 at some point we just we just pretty much thought this was going to be the newest DLC weapon at the time and it literally just never came into the game the M27 never made its way into Black Ops 3 as a DLC weapon but we've seen it in the files we've seen it in like the menu screen we've seen actual gameplay of the M27 we also saw it on the rift uh, there was actually a DLC map in the game called rift and basically there was a room kind of showcasing a bunch of weapons on a wall and the M27 was there as well so like I said this M27 came up so so many times and we all thought this weapon was going to be a future DLC weapon for the game you know of, co of course it could be a dlc weapon still coming into the game at some point but like i said it just literally never came into the game and i thought that was interesting man a lot of people also did think that the m27 was just like a uh, coding for the icr in the game people always think that the icr like the asori full in black ops 3 is basically the m27 but who knows man so that's going to be the first weapon the m27 like i said we've seen so many files gameplay just uh mini glitches in the game that we can you know use this weapon in multiplayer and it's absolutely crazy so the m27 is first on my list and uh, let me know what you guys actually think about that i would still love to see the m27 come into black ops 3 uh, moving on here we actually have the mp7 another very very popular weapon uh kind of besides the m27 like usually when we always saw the m27 we always saw the mp7 as well of course as you guys know the mp7 was a submachine gun in uh, black ops 2 along with the m27 was an assault rifle in black ops 2 so the mp7 we saw a lot a lot of gameplay from we just saw gameplay using the mp7 uh even like before like the game came out like in like the beta stages of black ops 2 we stole like gameplay of the mp7 we're like oh my god the mp7 is going to be coming into black ops 3 at some point we also saw it on the wall sort of on the uh, the rift dlc map alongside the m27 so we saw the mp7 pretty much everywhere we saw gameplay we saw files and a lot of people actually did think that the mp7 was just coding of the pharaoh submachine gun in black ops 3 uh because i think when you use the mp7 and you kind of like used it in like the game files and on pc and whatnot it would say pharaoh i believe or like burke 
burst or something like that. And as you guys know, the Pharaoh is a burst weapon, a burst on machine gun in Black Ops 3. So everyone thought the MP7 was going to be a DLC weapon in the game. I would still love to see it, you know, as a DLC weapon if it ever does come in the future. Uh, but yeah, the MP7 and the M27 were like literally kind of like go, they went hand in hand when it, when they came into like Easter eggs of DLC weapons and whatnot. So we saw the MP7 pretty much everywhere, man. We saw like gameplay, we saw the files, we saw it on like DLC uh, Rift, the Rift map with the Easter egg and the wall and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, that's just the second weapon on my list. I thought that was very, very interesting. You guys can let me know your opinions about the MP7. I, it was an awesome submachine gun in Black Ops 2. And like I said, I would still love to see it, you know, kind of go into you know Black Ops 3 as a DLC weapon at some point. But we shall see, man. We shall see. Uh, moving on here, we actually have a melee weapon in the game. As you guys know, there's a bunch of melee weapons in Black Ops 3 uh, for DLC weapons. And one of the melee weapons we thought were actually going to be one of the first melee weapons into the game. And that was the Bowie Knife. We've seen the Bowie Knife pretty much everywhere. It's such a popular sort of Easter egg when it comes to DLC weapons in Black Ops 3. When you guys think zombies and you guys think of some sort of knife in zombies, you automatically think the Bowie Knife. And uh, the Bowie Knife was a huge, huge trend sort of in the beginning stages of Black Ops 3 when DLC weapons started, you know, coming as a rise. You know, of course, the first DLC weapons was the Brass Knuckles, uh, the Butterfly Knife, and the Wrench. So when, when, you know, these first three DLC weapons came out, they were just melee weapons. And then, of out of nowhere, the Bowie Knife came out of nowhere. People were speculating how to get the Bowie Knife. You saw physical gameplay of the Bowie Knife in Black Ops 3, you know, someone using it, and it was crazy, man. We literally thought the Bowie Knife was going to be the next melee weapon to come into Black Ops 3. Now, people were speculating on how to get the, me the melee weapon or the Bowie Knife. People were saying you had to be level 1,000, because at this point, they just added 1,000 levels into the game, and people were like, okay, to get the Bowie Knife, you have to reach level 1,000, and they grant you this, you know, cool-looking knife thing in Black Ops 3, so you have to get level 1,000 to attain the Bowie Knife in Black Ops 3. Of course, as you guys know, that was just like a hoax. That was just like, I guess, a rumor at that point. You didn't really have to be level 1,000 to get your Bowie Knife in Black Ops 3. Another thing was, like I said, we also saw gameplay, but the true kind of reason why we did see the Bowie Knife in, you know, multiplayer games and we did get gameplay of the Bowie Knife was because someone actually transferred it from zombies and put it into multiplayer. You'll see there was actually like coding where it says MP zombies or underscore zombies. So someone, they transferred the uh, the Bowie Knife from zombies, the coding, and put it into multiplayer somehow. I think they did it on console as well. So it was very, very interesting. But the Bowie Knife was such a popular sort of trend and weapon at one point at, in time. And people thought you had to be level 1000 to get this knife or I don't know. But there was physical gameplay of it. There was also diamond camo on it. And there was like uh, supply drop camos on it too. So people literally thought this weapon was going to come into the game at some point. And it was a really cool trend, man. Uh, like I said, it was just uh, sort of so many rumors actually going around about the Bowie knife. Uh, but then we kind of debunked it and we did see that, yes, uh, the person just basically transferred the files from zombies and put it into multiplayer and they were able to use the Bowie knife in game. So that's basically the whole backstory about the Bowie knife. Uh, we could potentially still see the Bowie knife as a DLC weapon, uh, but we, I, I don't think so. Um, but anyway, moving on here, we actually have another weapon here. It is the hammer. Now the hammer, as you guys know, was a uh, weapon from Black Ops 2. It was actually a very, very big uh, sort of uh, LMG weapon in Black Ops 2. It was really good as well. And this weapon, the reason why people thought the hammer was going to come into Black Ops 3 was the sole reason why uh, on the DLC map Rift, like I said, there was like this wall of weapons. And for some reason, we did see the hammer LMG on the wall as well, alongside the M27, the MP7, and a couple other weapons too. But we did see the hammer on that wall and people just thought, you know, okay, this might be a leaked LMG. Uh, Black Ops 3 might be hinting to us the new kind of DLC weapons coming into the game and it could be like a DLC LMG because at this point we didn't have the R70 Ajax. So we thought that there was going to be a, a DLC weapon sort of LMG type weapon and we did think it was the hammer because as you guys know, the hammer was a really you know famous kind of uh, LMG in Black Ops 2 and we literally thought the hammer was going to be a DLC weapon coming to Black Ops 3 at some point. Uh, we didn't actually have physical gameplay of the hammer. We did, we did see that image and we were like, okay, you know, we put, pretty much put the two and two together and we all thought that the hammer was going to be a DLC weapon, but it never really came into the game and I think it was sort of just like an easter egg just to show that, uh, I guess, like, you passed, you know, Black Ops 2 weapons into the game and all that good stuff on the Rift DLC map. So, so that was the hammer, guys. We all thought the hammer was going to come into the game, uh, but it really never did, actually. So, moving on here to the last and final weapon of the game and of, like, this video, we have the Remington Shotgun. Now, this shotgun is another weapon for Black Ops 2. Of course, uh, you guys see a, a little bit of a trend here. There was just a bunch of weapons from Black Ops 2, the M27, MP7, Hammer, and now we got the Remington Shotgun. So, we actually did see the Remington Shotgun in the files of Black Ops 3. As you guys know, the Remington is very, very 
similar and looks very similar and just the whole entire style of the shotgun looks very similar to the krm shotgun in black ops 3 so a lot of people are saying that the the remington was just like coding of the krm uh sort of just like i don't know just back coding of the weapon because the krm literally looks exactly the same and kind of fat and kind of just functions the same as the remington shotgun from black ops 2 but nonetheless uh the remington we saw files we actually had physical gameplay of the remington as well people were using the remington shotgun in you know multiplayer shooting it all that good stuff and killing people so i'll show that gameplay in the background as well but literally everyone thought the remington was going to come into the game as well as on the rift dlc map along with the other weapons we did see the remington on the wall as well so a lot of people thought that yes you know we were going to see the remington we were going to see the remington as a dlc weapon and uh like i said it just never came into the game we never actually saw the remington as a dlc shotgun uh, i think it was just very too similar to the krm so i really truly think that you know the remington was just back coding for the krm because the krm is literally just like a, a mirror of like the remington in, in a sense so anyway guys that's pretty much wraps it up for this video that is the top five dlc weapons we thought were going to come into black ops 3 and they just never did they were basically just easter egg weapons and just coding of other weapons and all that good stuff and we we never know we might see these weapons come into the game at some point but i really don't think that and i thought this was an interesting kind of you know video talking about a little easter eggs and just the backstory of weapons because like i said throughout the whole entire year we thought these weapons were going to be dlc weapons and they never were so i thought it was a pretty cool uh, video so if you guys enjoyed the video a like rating would be very much appreciated I had to do some research gathering some gameplay and all that good stuff so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and uh, if you guys are brand new to the channel please click that subscribe button that'd be absolutely amazing and that's pretty much it let me know in the comment section what dlc weapons you guys want to see coming to the future of black ops 3 2017 they will be adding some new content to the game so let me know what dlc weapons do you want to see coming to black ops 3 uh, but thank you so much for watching and of course i will see you guys on another one